Today we're going to learn about West Penn Railway's history, uh, an abandoned trolley park, and the history of Pennsylvania bridge building in the early days of road building from specifically from 1918 to the early 1950s. You're looking at the West Penn Railway's 1952 coming down Harrison Avenue from Jeanette toward Greensburg. Um, amazingly, when you go back to the spot today, which I'll show you, it pretty much is exactly the way that picture shows. And there it is. Where it went from here, uh, it was actually to the right of this road, but it made its way onto Jeanette. Now, you might have been on your way to the uh, trolley park in the area in the turn of the century, which I'm going to show you in a moment. It's right at this intersection. Over there was Oakford Park. I'm going to park over there at Oakford Park and try to show you a little bit about it. Back there was a large swimming pool and um, trolley park with rides and what have you. The trolley park probably closed up a long time ago, uh, but the pool itself was in place until about the 1980s. Now if you go onto Google Images you would see um, look up Oakford Park you'll see pictures of what it looked like at the time but that was a popular thing with uh, trolley companies they would build parks to get people to ride the trolleys. Now the um, West Penn Railways closed up in 52 just a side note here, this building right here is actually a trolley barn um, where it came through and stopped. Um, the road went into a four-lane highway and people might ask, gosh, why did they build a four-mile four-lane highway to connect two towns so early? But well, it was on the streetcar right away and it headed out that way to Greensburg. Um, it was very easy to turn it into a highway seven years after the um, trolley closed. Now, they're getting ready to tear down this bridge, which people don't think much of it, but this actually illustrates the history of Pennsylvania bridge building, and something that I enjoy trying to find in my travels is um, something that was always on these bridge designs built by the Pennsylvania Department of Highways. Uh, when you were a kid, you tried to spot license plates when you traveled to pass the time. I try to spot bridge plates, and here's one from 1935. Um, there's an interesting history behind the bridge plates that I've had to kind of make up myself because I can't find anything on the internet that talks about it. This particular bridge design was a precast model that they would just drop in, very standardized construction. The holes in the uh, sides of the bridges didn't come about to about 19 28, 29, when they started cheapening up the highway bridge construction. The, um, from 1918 until, say, 1927, the bridges were more of a solid concrete design, and they had, um, if I have some examples here, they were more of a plate was set in the middle of the bridge. Now this first stage of bridge construction actually is more intact today than the one that they're tearing down there because these bridges uh, were bypassed after the war when uh, highway bridge construction was uh, in its heyday. Um, and a lot of these are in very good shape and are, are sitting there if you can find them because they're on private roads now they're not traveled very much and they're not subject to the salt abuse that the later roads that are now tearing down were uh, uh, subjected to. The later design 
Here's a 1923 that I collected. Here's a 1921. This was on US 22. It's a side note. I kept my eye on this one for 20 years, hoping to get it for my collection. And the uh, contractor nabbed it and had it uh, displayed prominently on his mantle when I went into the uh, job trailer to talk to him about it. So there was no chance getting that one. I do own one. But um, as you travel the highways, keep an eye out for these bridge designs and um, you can help me. This is what I need. I need 1922, 26, 27, 31, 33, and 39. I've collected all the other uh, plates and uh, on my notes I'll tell you where you can email the picture. But uh, have fun when you travel and um, learn more about the early stages of highway construction in Pennsylvania.